in this video we are going to focus on transversal and parallel lines. So in a line called a transversal, which is this green line here, cuts two or more other lines, such as these parallel lines, a number of angles are formed. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight angles formed from that transversal line cutting through those parallel lines. Now as a reminder, parallel lines are lines that are exactly the same distance apart and they will never meet. And when transversal lines cut through parallel lines, we get quite a few different types of patterns of angles here, where some of them are identical to each other. We're going to take a look at corresponding, alternate and co-interior angles. And we're going to prove some points here based on what I've just said with regards to how we get some patterns with angles, some identical and some equaling up to a certain uh, degree, like 180. So first of all, we're going to look at corresponding angles. And this is the F shape, where equal size angles occur. So you've got this transversal line cutting through a set of parallel lines. And you can see that this mirrors this. If I was to cut that out and paste it on top of that, it would be identical. The angle is in exactly the same spot. So it's like saying we've got an F shape here and under the armpits of the F are identical angles. They are equal sized angles. And it's the F shape we're looking at here. So this is corresponding angles. What we now have is alternate angles. And this is the Z shape where both angles are equal in size. So we have two parallel lines and a transversal line cutting through. And on opposite sides of the transversal line we have these angles and they are identical in size. They are both attached to the transversal line, but they're on opposite sides and they're tucked up underneath those parallel lines. So we form a Z shape. So they're alternate angles. Over here we have co-interior angles. This is our U shape angle. So we have a transversal line and both of those angles sit on the transversal line tucked into the parallel lines. And these angles both add up to 180 degrees. So they will be different size angles. So we've got our U-shape, our two angles tucked inside that, and sitting on the transversal. So they are the U-shape and add up to 180 degrees. So we're going to continue on from the previous examples uh, on transversal and parallel lines. So focusing on corresponding angles, alternate angles, and co-interior angles. We've got six examples here. We're going to solve the missing value of x, which is in each question. And first of all, for corresponding angles, we have to locate the F shape with two angles tucked up under the armpits. And I found that here because we've got two different angles, and I drew in the F to show where those angles fit, so I know exactly what it means. So corresponding angles are equal in size. So x degrees will be the same value as this one here, which is 98 degrees. And of course, after every question, you have to write down the type of angle. I've already written at the top here, but you would write corresponding angles underneath to show your understanding of the type of angle you're looking at. In this example here, I'm going to draw the F shape in for you. So I found there's a 71 degrees there and an X. We don't know what the X is, we've got to solve the X. Now I want that to tuck up under the armpits of the F. So I have drawn my F shape to replicate that. So we're trying to solve what X is. X degrees equals, now because these are equal in uh, degrees, in value, X degrees will also be 71 degrees and of course underneath that you would write down corresponding angles to show your understanding of what you're talking about and that you know it's that kind of angle and you're identifying it. Alternate angles are the Z shape. So in this example here I have found the two angles sitting opposite each other on the transversal line within those parallel lines. So I was able to find the Z and place the Z shape down. Now these angles are identical in uh, degrees, so they're absolutely equal. So I can write x equals and 40 degrees. Now also you would normally write alternate angles underneath there to show your understanding of the angle you're looking at. In the next one underneath here, I'm going to identify the z shape for you. So we've got the transversal line through the middle here. 
and it cuts with these parallel lines. So I'm drawing the Z shape now to show you on opposite sides of the transversal we have tucked up in here at one of the X degrees here and 87 degrees here. So these are alternate angles and there's my Z shape. So sometimes the Z will actually not look like a normal Z, it'll be slightly spread out and that's absolutely fine. So again, we're looking for X degrees and we know that alternate angles are identical, they are equal in size. So we know X degrees is 87 degrees, exactly the same as that one there. And of course, you would need to write down alternate angles to show your understanding that you know what kind of angle it is. Over here on the right, we have uh, the co angles and both of those angles add up to 180 degrees. So I've already drawn the U-shape for us here. We've got the parallel lines and the transversal and they sit on the transversal line tucked in between the two parallel lines. So in order for us to find out what X degrees is, we know that this is 180 degrees altogether and we subtract what we know, which is 90 degrees and we work down the page, 180 degrees minus 90 degrees is 90 degrees. So that angle there that we didn't know, we now know is 90 degrees. Now I'm going to take a look at the bottom one here and we're going to draw in the U shape. So we find the transversal line where they are sitting on, the two angles, and they're tucked in between these two parallel lines. So now that we've identified it is a co interior, we're going to solve for the value of X. So these two angles add up to 180 degrees. So if we start with 180 degrees and subtract what we know, which is 110 degrees, we can find out the value of X degrees. So 180 take away 110 is 70 degrees. So we now know the value of X is 70 degrees. And of course, at the bottom, we would write down the angle, which is co angles.